everyone, and welcome to this edition of Campus Convos. I'm your host, Denise LaFrance Ojinaga, and I'm joined today by Mr. Chipper Moore, who is the Division Dean of Advanced Technologies here at DCC. How are you? Absolutely doing well. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Oh, we're happy to have you on. So, one really cool thing about February, which we're in now, is that it celebrates CTE month. Right. So, can you tell us a little bit about what CTE month is? Sure, absolutely. First, CTE stands for Career and Technical Education, which I think is really important for people to know. But CTE Month in and of itself is a nationwide celebration that is uh, sponsored by the uh, Association for Career and Technical Education, or ACTE, a national organization really supporting that particular uh, field and education. And so they sponsor this every February in association with the National Association of Home Builders. And there's really kind of three things that we're trying to see accomplished during this month long celebration. The first is, is really raising awareness about career and technical education. A lot yeah. of people just don't know what all career and technical education entails uh, today in the modern world. And then we also want to celebrate the accomplishments of CTE programs because there is a lot that's happening, not mm -hmm. only at DACC, but our area high schools and all around the country in career and tech ed. And then really also recognize the importance of it uh, because I think many people maybe underestimate or don't realize just how critical career and tech ed is to the training of people that keep our world working every day. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people tend to forget that many of those careers to set your career path are offered here at DACC, That's whether correct. you want to get a certificate, you want to get your associate's degree. Um, so. What kind of programs do we offer here within the advanced technologies that fit that CTE? Sure, absolutely. There's quite a few, a, a great many actually offered in the advanced technologies division. We have three departments. One of them is architecture and construction technologies, and uh, that includes programs like pre-architecture and aerospace. You can also uh, look at building construction technologies and drafting and design. There's electronics, there's environmental and energy technology, which is big right now with all the solar projects and things happening in our area. Uh, and then manufacturing, which is really growing in Doniana County and becoming mm -hmm. something that I think will be impactful over time. We have a computer and information technology uh, department, and it has computer technology, which you would expect, but also yeah. things like cybersecurity, you know, some of the latest things. And uh, that particular program is really cutting edge uh, in the NMSU system as a whole. Yeah. And then we have commercial technologies as well, where you're going to find programs like automotive, electrical line worker, um, really HVAC, like heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration, which is a critical part of it that a lot of people forget. And then water technology and welding. So you can imagine it runs I like to say from A to W, we don't have a Z yeah. or a Y, but we do have a W, a couple of them for sure. And you know, these careers are something that we see every day in our lives and, right. and we need people in these fields every single day. And why, why is that important, you know, yeah. to, to have these, offer these programs here? It's absolutely critical because I think that uh, the thing that a lot of people don't realize is CTE prepares people for jobs that are essential. And during the pandemic period, we heard a lot about essential workers. And the programs that we offer, by and large, are the people that went to work every day during the pandemic that kept our power on, that kept our water going, and all of those other things. So I think they're very critical for that. You know, everybody needs and wants clean drinking water. And we need electrical power to, to keep everything running in our homes and in our businesses. Uh, we need cybersecurity to protect us against the attacks and things that you see and hear about in the news. Uh, these kind of folks do those kinds of things. Uh, our aerospace technicians, our manufacturing technicians are working in industries that are growing in Doniana County and are really are part of the future, I think, of the economy in our area. Yeah. And then you get into programs like uh, construction-related ones where these are the folks that design and build and repair our homes mm -hmm. and our infrastructure and all of those things. So I think the biggest thing is they're critical because they are essential. And, you know, it's also important to point out that they are high tech, they are high wage, and there is a high demand for people in these fields uh, because a lot of people in some of these trades and other areas are retiring and younger people aren't necessarily filling those roles. And this is an opportunity for us to train people to step in to critical positions that keep our economy working and keep all of us happy and healthy. Definitely. Something that we run into every single day in our lives, 
and it's a good field for those that are interested. That's right, absolutely. So if anybody wanted to um, possibly register to be part of our Advanced Technologies Division, or I mean the program and enroll in these courses, how, how would they do that? Sure, I would first direct them to go to the DACC webpage at dacc.nmsu.edu and search for Advanced Technologies just to learn more about the programs and get a little more information. And then of course on that webpage you're going to find admissions information and all the typical things you would. But what I would really recommend is if there's someone who would be interested in one of these programs and would like to know more, reach out to us. We can set up an appointment, come in, see a faculty advisor in that area, take a little tour, get to see what the programs are like in person. Uh, you know, I invite folks to do that uh, high school uh, age and people that are thinking about starting one of our programs. It's worth it to come in and yeah. visit it, see it, and see if it's for you for sure. Especially students that might be interested in even dual college. Correct. You never know. Tap That's them. right. You tap into it when you're young if you can. That's exactly okay. right. And we do a lot of work with dual credit uh, locally, you know, and out, actually throughout New Mexico now. And our dual credit students are many times our best students. And we get to meet them while they're in high school. They get to come through and finish quickly and then move on into their careers or move on if they choose to continue their education. And it's a great thing. I wish when I was in high school there had been a chance to do that. Me but too. that was far too long. <laughs> Far too long for us. That's I didn't right. have that opportunity either. That's correct. <laughs> well, Chipper, thank you so much. Really appreciate you talking to us and, and giving us a little bit more information about these programs. It's yeah. amazing stuff that we've bumped into every single day. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all very much for uh, tuning in to our show. We will see you next week with our next topic. Thank you. Mm -hmm.